today, uh, having it been about a week, we're back uh, off to the NEC, but this time for the motorhome, caravan and camping show. Quite a bit bigger than the boat show, but we're looking forward to it. If you ever come to the NEC, always remember your parking. We're in N5 zone G. There she is, the dirty old jalopy, and there's her indoors, carrying everything as usual. Off to the uh, caravan camping and motorhome show. I think we're just following everybody else, so hopefully they're going to the same place. It says it's a 5 to 18 minutes walk. I think. And there is, if everybody's interested, a Witherspoons over there. Five, which is golf. So we've got to find the caravan and motorhome show. He's up there, who's one to five. And I want to go Tyler. Yeah. We've got here after the big long walk, there must be a better way than that, and Erwin Dawes wants to go Tarlet. And here they are. First thing you realise when you get in, having been the boat show last week, how huge it is by comparison. I think it's over five halls, and this is just a random one that we came in, and far more people, including Erwin Dawes and a very green carpet. The amount of stuff is just mesmerising, really. Countless tents, countless tents designs. Quite amazing. Already, for some reason, I'm enjoying it better than the boat show. Now, there's certainly enough space in the Cuthram. And plenty of viewing. Some of these tents are just ridiculously huge. It's charging you double plot spaces next, chase prices. These are interesting little things. Tent on a trailer. Now looking inside, the Air Tech 6 camping is very different. Inside an interesting design of tent. There's so many here, some amazing tents. For some reason I rather like the um, artificial trees here. Just unbelievable number of different size and massive and designs of tent, really come for chairs. It's really is different to what it used to be when I was a boy. Erwin Dawes saw that, and what is the first thing you said? Pretty. Pretty. An old bale of straw, a few sunflowers, and she says it's pretty. Easy to sell to some people. It really is a bright carpet. Yeah. Interesting that there are several boats here, including Boat World. We obviously decided to do both shows. Oh dear, we appear to have the British Naturism Resort. And here it looks like we've got many, many smaller camper vans. Just been talking to a fellow interesting about how the Ford Transit Custom converts. Which is that one there. The Monza. But I will do my own conversion and make it much simpler.
Volkswagens. Too expensive. We're now in the uh, area of the big uh, mobile at Port Port. Fixed uh, caravans, I'll get it right in a minute. And lots of children in the sand pit and people on the water. Absolutely heaving with stuff that you can buy. Unfortunately, a lot of the uh, smaller camper vans really only start at around the 55 to 60 grand mark, which for most people near is a lot of money. And of course, there's always a second hand market or convert it yourself. These are interesting. And unlike the boat show, these are rather nice. They're provided a load of chairs and seating. I think where you can drink and eat your own pack up, which is very good, because at uh, the boat show there was next to nowhere to sit. Oh, this is what I'm interested in, these tent boxes. I think they're a pretty good idea. Let's have a look at that. Liz. Emissions all electric. Probably all you'll get is about 160 miles if you're lucky. Who on earth thought the colour of that one? Oh dear. It was a horrible colour. I just said it was a horrible colour. I like it. She likes it. She would. Sure, and you've got a nice even ground when you're setting up camp. Pulling out the ladder to around three or four rungs. And then just using that. Like so. Just making sure that the ladder locks into place. And uh, that is the tent then set up. So the next stage is just to put in the porch poles and um, tuck away the rainproof cover and then that is pretty much it set up. <laughs> no. For now, and then moving into some of the motorhome areas. Ring them. the Fiamma stand to make a heck of a lot of fixings and different things for uh, homes. And caravans of course. A shed load of uh, VWs. Right, let's see if we can find a table. A lovely couple moved and said you're on a table and we got one, which is excellent. There we have the uh, My Rider stand with John and Mandy. From Gadget John and Unadventurous Mandy channel. So we've done halls four and five, there's lots here to see. We're now heading to three, three A, two and one. Check with you. Right, heading now into the um, motorhome part of the show, which uh, again will be blistering expensive in these times. It's actually the caravan and motorhome area, I think. Or is it just the motorhome? Just the motorhome. No, it isn't. Caravan, get it right a minute. That one apparently has won the coolest caravan award. So her oh, indoors had to have a little peep in. Well, not your typical caravans. They're not married. He's batting well above his weight. 
see the stand, one of the best uh, manufacturers in the UK in our opinion. Large range of uh, motorhomes, I think they're, they're pretty high quality. That's the one we've got but the much older version of it. Well, if you want a motorhome, this is the place to come. There's scores of them, all different designs, all different layouts. How you choose good old ones. Coachman, one of the biggest manufacturers I think in the UK. Then what do I know? Seems they've got a big uh, plush stand at the show. Thank you, careful. Still looking, painting halls. If you're looking, you certainly get a day's entertainment here. Right, so we've got presentations here as well. So that's the way that most people will go. Top tip for you, if you're not a worthy member of the Carolina Motorhome Club, they can actually buy both their tunnel and their ferry with the bulk and they pass on their savings to you. So if you might want to consider becoming a member just because you can save an absolute fortune on the ferry and the tunnels. Next thing is you need to make sure that you have got so we're looking in a caravan in the swift elegance. Do you not use the toilet? Who would? Ah, oh, that's good. Right, we're on the swift stand here. And I still think swift makes some of the best caravans there are for the UK. 26,500. I don't know if I like this layout. Certainly a lot of carpet in here. Certainly less people in the uh, caravan area, although we still like the caravan. Oh, 
right, this is the last tour for us, Hall 1, Rosemore Motorhome. Big one there now indoors. It's doled out the money. Well, me and her indoors I found a nice little awning to rest in. You wouldn't know you're inside the NEC. Nestaway boats here have some really lightweight canoes. That Hybris 410 is really light. 15 kilos all up. Me and Owen Dawes can lift that easily. No one fishing there, wasn't he? We go in it. Right, try it and look in that, Kevin. There are some quiet areas of the shell now, also some manic areas. Caravans. It's quite tiring this show, especially when you've got a two and a half, three hour drive back to Suffolk and you've bought a big barbecue you've got to carry back to the car, including the free gas bottle. Silence here, the uh, Electric scooters that are quite interesting. About 90 mile range, allegedly. Alright, we're heading back now to have another look at some tents. Then we'll get our great big uh, barbecue we bought from Camping Gas. Let's see if we can lug it somehow all the way back to the car. And here we have something called an opus, which seems a thing you tow along as a trailer tent. Press a button and magic, magic, you've got a caravan. But at 23 grand, I think I'd just buy a caravan. Hmm. No indoors, not impressed with that. If you've got miles to go from the NEC to your motor home, or your car rather, to the car park probably not idea to buy this load of heavy stuff but the bus driver was the great and we did it Shikri.